Well, hey there, I'm Alan at the Spokane Plant Farm. I've got here with me Lynn. And she and I go way, way, way back. That's no indication on our name, you know, or our age, I should say. No. But, uh, when it comes to Spokane Valley, the Zytel name and the Creech name, I mean, they're almost synonymous yeah, with the yeah. Spokane Valley. That's right. But what we're going to do today is we're actually going to learn how to propagate this little plant right here. Okay. Now, we have a common name. But before we get into the common name, lest I confuse you, what is our Latin name for this plant? Funny you should ask. It's okay. Passionathus longicalis. Oh, wow. What lipstick, a mouthful. Lips, lipstick plant, It's a lipstick right? plant, right. Yeah. And look at the bloom right here. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. Now, there's a lot of what? lipsticks out there that are a lot more attractive than that. But this particular plant, I think, when you think in terms of lipsticks, as is maybe the yeah it's the, the better foliage it has the better, better foliage you're right, right. <coughs> so the girls uh, when we propagate this plant there's two ways we do it one is from a stem uh, a stem cut uh, a tip cutting so if you look at a leaf like this or a stem like this here would be our tip right there okay and then the other way is a leaf and eye so the leaf and eye has just basically the stem right and then there's the leaf and right here where the two come together is what right. we call the eye. So when we're propagating in the back, we'll take a group of these cuttings. Now we want to make sure we have some root tone on. Okay. We'll talk about that, and then we'll just take the group of them, stick them right in a in an already watered pot. That's pretty important on this one. This is not the easiest plant to propagate. Okay. Didn't know that. Yeah, it's a little tougher because it doesn't have what we call adventurous roots growing out of the uh, the little eye right there. It's, it needs a little encouragement. So we're going to give it the roton, and then we're going to put the cluster right in the center of the pot like that. Easy enough. That is. But I think the trick, the trick on this, we want to maintain the humidity around this plant all the time until it does grow. And it's going to take us about, uh, it's probably going to take us four to six weeks wow. to generate some roots on this. They're a little slower. That's some of our slow. easier plants. But to generate the humidity around it, it, we'll just put it in this little Ziploc bag. Seal it up. Make sure it's well watered, of course. And then easy. let that sit on our windowsill gotcha. until it begins to grow. Easy enough. Lynn. That's right. Thanks for helping me with this hey, YouTube video. Nice to see you. Yes. <laughs> 